Staines Town and the visitors to Kingfield as the cars look to make it 62 points from 25 matches in the league today. Gary Hill makes a few changes with Dale Binns and Moses Animola out injured. In come Aaron Howe, Derek Duncan, Paris Cowan Hall and Giuseppe Sol with Andy Little and Alan Inns on the bench. The visitors sit 21st in Blue Square Bet South and have managed just four wins all season, although two of those have been in the last two away matches. And we are underway here at Kingfield. And the Maverick with the long throw in. And Doyle heads it away. And it could come to Tom Cavanaugh with the effort. And trouble Aaron Howe. Davies with the ball into Paris Cowan Hall. Gets a cross in towards Giuseppe Sola goes down. Under the challenge of Danny Gordon. But the referee wasn't interested in. The half-hearted appeals behind the goal. Adam Doyle with that challenge. And then Jay Davies goes flying in. And Cordroy and his management team are off the bench. And Staines are not happy with that challenge. And Davies could be in trouble here. He really did have his foot up high and was lunging in. Maybe quite fortunate to get away with just a yellow card there. Oh, and that could fall to Joe Dolan in the area. Came with the first header. This is a pretty, pretty decent start here. King flicking that header away, and Simon Jackson will get onto it. He used to play for Woking. They will work the ball into the area, and in comes the header from Jake Goodwin. It's off the bar. Aaron Howe managing to pounce on the rebound. And then with the throw it, gets it back. And will make a run past his defender and he's brought down. Now then, Goodman's the judge to have brought him down just outside the area there. It wasn't far away from being inside. And Giuseppe Sol will stand over this free kick. And he curls it in. But Reese Evans will catch that comfortably. Everett with the corner. When well, he goes all the way through, and Joe Dolan with the flick. The chance to launch another throw into the area. Almost managing to fall for Dolan once again. Everett again. Loops in across, and the offside flags up. And good work from Goodman and Dolan. Won't mean that counts as a goal. Everett with another long throw. Oh, and McNerney's handled it, and Staines have got a penalty. McNerney's not happy, but his hand clearly struck the ball there. He's saying he was pushed, I think, by Dolan. The referee's not interested in his protest, and just on the stroke of half-time here, and it'll be Ali Shaban who'll step up for the stones from the penalty spot. Already scored twice from there this season, but Aaron Howe manages to get to this one, and eventually Adam Doyle manages to flick it away from danger. What a moment for Aaron Howe. He gets a big kiss off Paris Cowan Hall. Flung himself to his left to keep out Chaban's penalty. And it's an escape for Woking just before half time. Simon Jackson with the throw in. Can Woking capitalise on a little bit of fortune at the end of the last half with Howe making a penalty save? Nice a handball against Doyle earlier there, but now Chaban will take it up, the man who missed that penalty. Oh, but what a strike that is, and he's more than made up for it with a goal here just four minutes into the second half. Chaban with the strike, and what a cracker it was. He gave Aaron Howe absolutely no chance. Took on Doyle and Davies. Curled it round the outside of Newton and Howe into the bottom corner. Go. Doyle will flick it on towards Howe, and Howe's How picking it out up there, and Chaban is not surprisingly appealing for a back pass, and it'll be an indirect, for Staines, an indirect free kick for Staines here. I wonder who will fancy it. In it comes, and it's a good save from Howe, cleanly taken. We'll try and find Paris Cowan Hall. Side of the forward, headed away by... 
Gordon, it could come to King now with the effort. Good stop by Evans. Well, King have not lost at home for a while. It seems like ages as Kavanagh plays the ball in and the header comes in. How makes the catch. Can they keep that record, un unbeaten record going? Davies flicks it on to Newton. They will need to find a goal here. Paris Cowan Hall with a flick. Could come to the substitute, Wayne Gray. Punched away, Murta with the effort. And Evans claims it. And ball across. And then King and then Davies working the ball out to this left-hand flank for Duncan. It's in, King with the flick. It could come back to Jack King with the effort. Oh, and it goes all the way through. Murta with the... Touch and work here for Australia, they don't have a corner. So they seem to deflect off a Staines player. Newton with the ball forward, looking for Gray. It could be Wayne Gray in. And Danny Gordon and Evans do just enough. Doyle with the flick away. Could come to Gareth Risbridger, who gets the better of Murta and Shaban will give it back to him. Risbridger can't find the target. Gray who will tussle with Jake Goodman. And Goodman will find himself in the book for that. I think it was probably a combination of challenges more than anything. Murta will flip the ball into Derek Duncan. But he never got hold of that shot. Murta with this free kick, and that just sums up World King's Day so far. Their unbeaten record at home this season and beyond looks to be coming to an end. Kieran Murta's on the ball up. Can he make something happen? He finds Gray and will get it back. Got Paris Cowan Hall running in front of him. Can he pick him out? He can, it's Cowan Hall, he goes down. It's a penalty. Woking have a penalty in the last minute. May, just maybe this unbeaten record is gonna be kept going. Staines have been fantastic and Goodman's being sent off here for a second yellow card. Well, you have to feel a little bit sorry for Staines. Was this a penalty? Did seem like he may have been caught, but it's difficult to tell. And Jack King, who scored so many from the penalty spot this season, has a chance to add another one. And one important one it could be, but he's put it wide. What a moment. This game's gone all over the place. Two missed penalties at the end of either half. Seems so confident, was well taken. Newton with the ball forward towards Inzi. Kuplan back to Jack King with the effort and he's only inches wide. Just like Shaban, he almost made up for his penalty miss with that effort. Time almost up now, surely. Everett with the throw in. And the final whistle goes and Stainstown have ended Woking's unbeaten home record here. Thanks to an Ali Shaban goal early in the second half. See if Woking can come back from this next Saturday when they take on Bromley at Kingfield.